Hello my soccer universe, as I am still on vacation when this video is released and I want to give you at least a video every other day even while I'm uh, on vacation I'm pre-shooting now a few videos and mapping it out, yeah, it's the perfect time to show you another jersey from my collection uh, wearing my home country Austria while showing you the jersey from one of my favorite national teams the Netherlands, which is the 2010-11 Netherlands home jersey. That's the one time that I was actually okay with them wearing black pants because the way they made this jersey, it married very well the orange and the black accents with a little bit with enough white accents and especially the pants. I really liked that they were black. They had the white side strap from the uh, from the jersey here, and then had orange numbers, which I thought was a really interesting calm combination. Of course, in the last two games, the semi-final, the final, more than that in a bit, uh, they played, of course, uh, with orange pants, which at the time I thought was an awesome look. Coming now, I think it was it looked better in black. Uh, to be honest, but I understood against Uruguay you had to wear the orange pants and against Spain in the final. It was anyway, Spain against the Netherlands is always a weird, weird, weird jersey matchup. It has been a long story <laughs> to get this jersey because after the World Cup, I of course got the, uh, the other jersey from, uh, the dad final, uh, the, even with the India, uh, you know, have the Iniesta. So this is from the World Cup final. The jersey match which i'm very happy with that i i have this but this holland jersey was really fast so lot i remember in 2010 i wanted to get it then after a few when, when i think when they made it to the quarterfinals uh, or, or especially after, after the beat brothers but at that time it was already not available you only could get the away jersey and frankly of all the white with blue pants that they had a little bit then the fact that 2010 one is the one that i dislike uh or, or i i like the least i actually dislike it in in in, in a way so this one was hard to find until it I think it was during the pandemic when the really the first major lockdown and i said i'm not gonna buy jerseys money's gonna be tight and then this pops up for 20 bucks and i have been looking for this one for such a long time and if you're a subscriber since then you of course know that I have this and I was even so happy because it had even names that on the back. A lot of a player that I, uh, at least he, he played for, 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 for the wrong club, but you probably can guess it here from the back. Uh, was a Wesley Snyder, cheap Wesley Snyder name set on there, which after one watch, wash completely disintegrated. So I have Wesley Snyder ghosted on there, which I have to say is kind of cool. <laughs> he's there but he's not there so i actually don't mind this uh uh in in a way of course it would, it would be nice if, if this could be redone but you know uh, not a big deal at this moment i'm not looking into restoring all my shorts um uh so just as a heads up uh but i as soon or later i might do this there's another little restoring job of this jersey uh the tag on the inside Ah, it's a little bit wrinkled, and these tags I know for 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 for, for those 2010 churches, uh they are rather rather iffy. Everything Nike, especially in the late in the late 2000s, on everything in here, that that that, that was the first thing that always came 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 off in in a way. Whereas this tag, the Netherlands tag, or uh, you know, it was so 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 nice. Every country they had they had kind of the name written in in, in there, so that was uh, really something. That actually sticks quite well. But what I also like about this one is the cloth crest. And I have to say it's actually nicely done with the black lion and the out the golden outline. Uh, it blends it blends in in, uh, in, in a way. Uh, it still is there, uh, very recognizable, which of course was at, at the time the crest. One that I never really dislike, although I like the current one so much better than even the previous one. I think this would... Uh, but you know, I never dis dis disliked it. And fun, fun, I think most of my Netherlands jerseys have ac ac actually exactly this crest. Uh, yeah, I still think so. Um, one mark of the 2010 uh, range, of course, were those, uh, I call them band aids. Those are all the band aid jerseys, because I mean, how does this look like? It looks, look, looks like band aid. I never understood what purpose it serves, uh, even on the player issue. I never got it. And then it has, of course, similar band-aid uh, applied here tool to the size of but it's not rounded off 
Um, and then there's a, a, a last feature, which I, is very, very unique and I think has not been copied ever since uh, that on the inside of the crest, there's always something written and here, of course, it says Oranje Löwen which is of course the orange lions, uh, which is always, I, I actually find it's a really, really cool touch to have this here on the inside. But, you know, I understand no one really sees it, but uh, it's one of the first things when I see a 2010 jersey, uh, jersey even a club jersey, I always check for that one. Now, this jersey is quite famous or infamous. Uh, as I said, it's a tournament I got Behind the, I mean, I'm always anyway behind the, the Netherlands, but after they flamed out in 2006 relatively fast, and then in um, 2008 also brilliant uh, group, group stage then going away, I didn't really expect much from the Netherlands. And then when I went to qualify, and especially when they beat Brazil, I was fully on board. I mean, I was already on board and in, in, in support. I saw that there is a generation growing. We all knew this was the Van Persie, Snyder, Robin, uh, Van der Vaart, with Giovanni van Bronckhorst. There was something really growing there. You know, this is a really good team, but do they have, can they bring it home in, in, in a way? Well, they almost did. I mean, uh, beating Brazil and that, at that tour tournament, this was this tournament was all about Brazil and Spain. Those are the two best uh, teams, and Brazil, up until the point, had been really untouchable by anyone. They have been just awesome, uh, and the Netherlands beat them, uh, being lucky in the first half, admittedly. And uh, they were wearing this jersey. Now I've, I want to get the Brazil away jersey as well. That's so also have all the almost all the important jerseys. Uruguay, of course, would be nice uh, to have as well. Uh, then uh, semi-final, uh, really good game against Uruguay. I think uh, that was uh, thor th thoroughly enjoyable, and I think the less said about the final, the better. Um, you know, this was a final where I said, this is for the first time. I mean, we will have a new world champion, which I think is always fun. But it was the first time where I said, oh, this is a final where I don't have to pick sides because I like either one of them equally well, uh, because uh, Spain would be deserving champions and the Netherlands have been one of my favorite teams. Oh boy, the Netherlands completely forgot about their footballing rules and it was the Dutch playing team in the blue jerseys, Spain, that they ag actually won it. And um, so this was under coach Bert van Marwijk and the last thing I want to say about this uh, one is that Bert van Marwijk, uh, for, for me, has a, is a weird, par weird parallel to um, Raymond Dominic uh, in France, who actually also, he came in, he made it to the final of um, his first tour, to, uh, tour tournament, in both cases the World Cup final, then uh, the upcoming Euros were a disaster, and then they kind of fell for fell away, and the teams also had some struggle, although for the Netherlands, it had another peak in 2014 before really falling apart, but yeah, Bert van Marwijk. It was all, also uh, one of the fuel fielders when a Feyenoord-based uh, manager basically ruled the national team because mostly it is Ajax or PSV. But yeah, I'm very happy to have this jersey. I rarely wear it, mainly because I don't want this to wash away. I mean, I ironed over it, but I am afraid that this will come off so, so sooner or later. This has come off. So uh, I am a little bit hesitant of wearing it on the, uh, on, on, on the other side. Uh, I always like this one and it's the balance. I mean, yes, it is a little bit more black, but that you have the white swoosh and you have the white sides uh, makes it a little bit more balanced. Yes, I would prefer my orange with white at just a teeny bit more. I will always say so, but if you need to add black, do it this way. You know, I would even not, not mind. It would be better maybe even to wear it with white pants and then have a black strap. You know. This was one of the one orange with black black pants where I actually did not mind. So yeah, let, let me know what you think about this jersey. Um, and if you have any special memories attached to it, I think after the World Cup, there was a point where one could, could really think that the Netherlands were at that point the best team in Europe. Although Spain was also really, really, really good. Any case, I leave this for discussion. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.